I'm here again at Earth, this time with Mike from AutoDrop 3D. You guys have one of the coolest 3D printers that I've seen here because why? Tell us what your printer does. So our printers automatically eject the parts when they're done, so they can operate completely unattended. I think we have the only active print farm at this event. In fact, one of them's actually ejecting right this second. Oh, yeah. um, it's popping the part right out, and it's going to uh, clear the bed and then start up the next print instantaneously. Now, you also have an entirely new set of software that you've made that routes the different prints to different printers depending on if they're ready or not. Yeah, so the, uh, the printers, whenever one's inactive, it's just waiting for a job. And if there's a job that comes in and it fits the criteria of that printer, the size matches, like it can fit in the printer and the material, it'll go and automatically start up that job and just print it out and then eject it and wait for the next one. Did you write all that software yourself? So the software that runs the server and the client that's running on each of the printers is all homegrown. It's obviously, we're using standard slicing software, Cura Engine, or whatever other kind of command line slicers you can use. But uh, the software is all pretty much homegrown. That is amazing. What, what's your background? How did you get into this? Ah, uh, okay. So at our makerspace, the, uh, the 3D printers were always broken. Uh, and it was because people touched them. Darn people. There's another one popping off right now. Awesome. <laughs> um, so they were always broken because people were touching them. I decided to do something that would make it so that they'd be accessible via the internet. And we went from like five or ten people who could use the 3D printers safely, um, or not really safely because they could possibly be breaking them, but to about 40 people who can now actually 3D print all the time. Wow. Um, and it's all because of that lowering the barrier of entry and making it so that nobody has to touch the machine. All they have to do is just come over and pick up their completed part. No scraping, no peeling, nothing. Just, it does its thing. It, it sounds like the idea that others have had in the past of having a, a uh, like a bending, a 3D printing bending machine that you just hit a request and come get it later, you know? You've made that a reality. Yeah, I mean, we've been targeting the, the print farm and like uh, the self-service kind of market. like. Uh, schools or maker spaces, uh, libraries, that kind of stuff. Uh, I mean, you can even turn on moderation. It has the billing capabilities built right into the software so it can wow. charge the credit cards automatically. And we even have parametric 3D modeling that runs right inside the web browser as part of the system. Now, what did you use as the basis for your modeling software? Did you write that all from scratch So, as well? one of the guys on the team, he's been working on that and it was basically from scratch. Wow, unbelievable. So this is really impressive. I, and thank you very much for stopping me, but I, I can't wait to see what you guys have coming in the future. I love this. I am really hoping that we can go and move some of these printers so that we can continue R&D and get into doing things like heated beds and other different types of things. Well, I'll make sure that there's a link in the description where people can find out more about you. But thank you for, for taking the time to, to spend with me today. Yeah, no problem. Thank you. Before we go, check out this cool project on the What You Making channel on my Discord. Why don't you stop by and check out what other cool projects are there. And hey, if you share something you've done, maybe you'll see it in a future video too. Thank you very much for watching. Hey, if I mentioned anything in this video, you'll find a link to it in the cards and you should check that out. Did you know that I'm social? I've got links to all the socials and you should stop by and say hi. I really kind of enjoy it when that happens. Big thanks go out to my direct backers. And if you want to know more about how you can become that, there'll be a link right here that you can check out. And as always, I want to remind you safety first because I care about you and I'll see you next time. Oh, that's interesting. Classic one there. <laughs>